What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Triple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. It's early, folks. It's February 8th. It's Thursday, thank God, which means we got a softball and a kickball game going tonight. I'll tell you, I'm still not recovered from Vegas. My body still thinks it's on West Coast time. I didn't get to bed till about 3 a.m. over here in the East, which is probably about... 12 over in Vegas where I just came from. I couldn't fall asleep. My body was ready to go. I'm running on about three hours. Got my coffee in front of me. Hopefully today goes goes pretty fast. But then we got two games tonight, so it's going to be a late night. But hopefully those two games wipes it right out of me and I can rest. Oh, big weekend ahead of the Super Bowl coming on Sunday. I feel fine, which is a good thing. But you know, my body's just tired. It's lagging behind. All is well. We're going to push on through. In this episode, we got to talk about Bitcoin squeeze, the big XRP news, and what it might possibly be. Because as we heard from the XRIPPLE employee, it's coming out any day now. Then we're going to hear from David Schwartz, yes, the one and only Joel Katz, about the automated market makers because the bug is fixed. Off to the races we go. So what has to happen? Simple. We need to get a revote. <laughs> It gets revoted, has to hold for two weeks, then it can get passed through. But automated market makers are coming. We've seen the same thing happen with XLS20 when NFTs were coming to the XRP ledger. Last minute, it got knocked back down. We had to wait. I think it took a, a, like another month, four to six weeks, and everything was fine and dandy. The same thing is actually going on with the AMM. I'm not worried. I'm not concerned, folks. It's coming and I 100% do believe that it is going to help the price of XRP. Now let's jump into this. Bitcoin is currently up 4.32%. on a little a little heater here. Coming in at $44,823. Ethereum is right behind it to up 2.62%. Coming in at $2,423. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP. Well, XRP is being XRP. 51 cents. It is up 2.24% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1,730,000,000,000. Remember the very specific range we are looking for to enter into a bullish mode scenario is above $2 trillion. Sounds like it got a little wheeze going on over here. I don't know if you can hear that. Rips a mess right now, folks. Oh, get this. Lux, my interview, live interview. You ever want to know what I look like? It's going, it should be, should be. I saw the final cuts, final edits. It should be listed today. At some point over on my YouTube channel, I dox myself. I been dox actually. It was like a silent dox. We signed a major partnership while out in Vegas. You're going to want to tune in for this. If you don't hold your NFTs, you're going to want to get your NFTs because the CTO or the ex CTO of Cool Cats, you had the same Cool Cats that was in the Macy's Day Parade. They are now working with Flux Lions, folks. What does that mean? To the moon we go. I actually have a meeting at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can't wait for that call and see what we're going to be discussing. Big plans ahead for Lux and for all my Lux holders. All of you who've been listening, who've been seeing my vision since day one, you're early. Everyone who's jumping on board and getting to Lux now, you're still early, folks. If Cool Cats made it to the Macy's Day Parade and with inside Macy's, as Pudgy Penguins made it inside Walmart's, where do you think these beautiful Lux lines are going to go next? And is L. He says, I think that the game plan. Oh, he says, I think that this is the game plan by Gary. Let pro, pro, pro of Ethereum, their inside job, list Ethereum and never say it's a non-security. This way you can keep uncertainty in the markets. What is he talking about here? Well, pro Ethereum will start. It's listings with the one and only ETH, the highest market cap and most liquid token. Interesting because pretty sure if we look at the stats out there that Bitcoin has the highest market cap and is the most liquid. But seriously, this is interesting because they are effectively saying Ethereum still be a security according to the SEC and the SEC tells them it's a commodity. They would delist it. Huh. Right. And Mr. Uber said, congratulations, Ethereum itself just became the first SEC-registered crypto security. Promo Ethereum, still standing alone as the only U.S. registered securities uh, exchange platform, has declosed that his first digital asset to handle for his clients is going to be the one and only, drum roll please, Ethereum. 
I mean, it's pretty obvious Ethereum has been a security, always will be a security. Nothing's going to change about the security and about that. It's uh, the interesting part of what's going to happen to Vitalik Buter and Joe Luba for the corruption and their little exchange hack back in the day to secure even more Ethereum. Craig Crypto said, funding pushed back, pushed back up only to be forced right back down. As the OL becomes, or continues to rise, and the prep premium increases, all signs pointing to overlay aggressive shorts that are failing to have much of an effect on the price. Continue to squeeze, please. So what are we seeing? Well, we're trying to see like there's going to be like a squeeze on the price of Bitcoin, but it's, it's not really doing anything because the price of Bitcoin is still going up. So he said, come on, keep on squeezing because we are going to keep on moving in the right direction. And in the second video of the day, I'm going to update my Twitter thread. Remember, I am now three for three for calling this bull market. I'm about to be four for four. Stick around for that video. Pay attention to my pinned tweet because you're about to find out the next move for Bitcoin. I put this out yesterday. Big news has come for XRP and Ripple. Any guesses as to what it might be? I said we could be getting a major U.S. partnership with some with a partner that was in the U.S. But we come to find out from Sean McBride that it could be something about a money transmitter list license because that's what he hinted at. Sean McBride is the ex-Ripple employee. He's the one that leaked out that there is big news coming. Clearly, he knows something. My guess was a money trans transmitter license or a U.S. partnership is what we are looking at. Time will tell. And then David Schwartz, I'm going to let you listen to this because this is three minutes of glory. He hopped off to the space yesterday with Vet talking about the automated market maker, talking about decentralized government governance here. You need to listen to what he has to say because this is a very smart man, folks. And I'll tell you right now, whatever David wants for the XRP ledger, I want it with him because remember, Ripple knows. How to get the price up of the XRP token. Bob White has told us before in the past. They've done testing behind the scenes in the old Ripple Labs. And they know what has to be done to increase the price. I see also David is down there. I No pressure, David. But if you like to come up and just give your personal thoughts, of course, uh, feel free to, to do so as well. Um, of course, only just about what topic and your own personal um personal opinion um then then feel free to do so that's that's a panel that uh you 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 can do i can give you an update that um it looks like the amendment the fixed amendment has received two uh approvals and it has a commit message so it is likely done and then it depends now if they want to push that or wait for a release yeah per perfect dennis and, and yeah david we can hear you your mic is oh. clear Oh, good, good. Um, yeah. I, only have a, I only have a couple minutes. I listened to the space, and I'm sure. every, almost everything I wanted to say has, has already has already been said. I just want to say that overall, I'm proud of the community. I know that I know that like from the outside, sometimes you know, there's a saying that like people who like sausages and respect the law shouldn't watch either one being made, and we do this in public, like it's on Twitter, so everybody gets to watch the sausage being made, and sometimes it's not super pretty. And sometimes I have to, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish that didn't happen. But I mean, overall, the process is pretty good. Like everybody got to express their views and um, things didn't always go the way that I thought was right. And that's good. I mean, imagine if the community always did whatever I said I wanted. Or imagine if I if like we had a secret cabal that just like decided on everything privately and then announced our results to the public. Like that would be way worse. And would I like it to be less acrimonious and more like absolute polite and respectful? Maybe, but then there would be no passion. So, you know, um, I just want to say, even though it has been contentious at times, and even though I know people have, like Tempers have gotten a little heated in times, and I think, I think I, but everybody got to see everything. And so I, I, I'm, I just want to say that I'm, I'm just proud of the way it happened. And I honestly, like, can't really think of a better way overall. And I just hope that I just hope that there isn't real acrimony. I hope that there aren't people who are like, oh, those guys, man, why do they keep like we're doing what you're doing? We're advocating for what we believe and what we're passionate about. And there is a tension. Like, I think I can speak for everybody at Ripple when I say we would like the XRP ledger to evolve as quickly as possible and to add as many features as, as quickly as possible. But we would also like the, everything to be as safe as possible. We never, we don't want to take any risks, right? We don't want anything to break and we don't want to do anything that doesn't work well. 
And there's a tension between those and reasonable people are going to disagree on how to, how to get that balance. We don't have any secret agenda about any particular amendment. We don't have some secret strategy in mind for these amendments other than that we think they'll add value and we think they're good and we think people will find them beneficial and we like better things. We like good things like everybody does. And um, I guess that's all I wanted to say. But I do want to say again, I am proud of the community and that I think that like the way this worked out was I think we'll look back on and say that it was good that people cared. It was good that people dug in positions. It's good that people didn't feel like they couldn't disagree. And again, you all got to see the sausage being made and I hope the sausage eventually is delicious. And thanks for the space. Like I said, everything you, everything I thought, everything I that was said, I thought was great. I we got to see the sausage being made. I like watching sausage get made, folks. Really do believe the AMA, AMM, excuse me, is going to do some powerful things for the ledger itself. He got crypto said the W pad, and guess what? It's emerging. Let me blow it up for you, for those of you looking at the screen. Potentially talking a dollar twenty-five, with room up to about a dollar thirty. The non-log logarithmic ranges between a dollar and a dollar and ten. Those are the targets we are looking at short term, folks. I like them. I showed you the Livermore chart yesterday with, with XRP and how it was playing out. We were talking about $1.40, $1.50. We're right on pace here, $1.25 to $1.30. A big move for XRP. It's coming. We have been very, very highly, severely undervalued for quite some time. Everything else around us has been doing these massive pumps. Look, Cardano's up 11. Solana's up 6. You go down the list, you can see a lot of other coins. Chainlink's done a crazy move, right? ICP's doing a nice little move. A lot of these tokens have done crazy moves. Casa. It's, it's it's XRP's time. If you think for one second this bull run is going to skip over, or this purry bull run is going to skip over XRP, well, i got something coming for you. It's not going to happen. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, I'll be back for the second video of the day. I'm going to update my timeline. We're going to be talking about XRP. We're going to talk about the bull run and where we're going to go next. And we're going to hear from David Schwartz and do a little more price action, price predictions. Stick around. Stay with me. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.